is holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul, I worship your holy name. I worship your holy name. Tatala bana hasusa kotola brahaya. Ziko nembrate lese da kura da banda hashiti yasu. Father, I thank you, Lord, for this first Sunday in the month of October. We are already here in October. Lord, we glorify you and we bless your name, Lord. This very Monday, Sunday service, through your way around, O oh God, and our rent is for us. Send us a word, O oh God. Our line to that our desire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen and amen and amen. Uh, welcome to the month of October. Uh, things is going to turn around this month of October. I believe God. I believe God. I believe God with all my heart. Hallelujah. And the first message is like the first dose that is, is coming from our studio today is a word of encouragement it's a word of encouragement and i will be preaching on a message titled the waiting is over the waiting is over a waiting could be difficult uh, when you are in a place a lot of queue and you have not got to your tongue wait could be difficult so the Lord of Lady my heart this month that I should speak to you. Now I also myself benefit from me that the waiting is over. The waiting is over. I would like to take my test from the book of Zechariah chapter 8. And I just want to read only one verse. Zechariah chapter 8 and the net invites verse. They talk, said the Lord. When he's here, talk said the Lord, it's a prophecy. Talk, said the Lord of hosts, a fast of the fourth month means balance. Four means balance. A fast of the first month and the fast of the fifth, fifth five means grace. And the fast of the seventh month means completion. Mm -hmm. And the fast of the tenth month, we're in the tenth month right now. A new beginning is about to kick off. A fast of the tenth month shall be for the house of Judah. Joy and gladness i need an amen joy and gladness that should be your portion that should be my portion and cheerful feast therefore love the truth and peace the waiting is over it was a prophecy uh, from from uh, from the prophet and he start beginning to say that toss the lord when he hear toss the lord means there's a word that's coming that you need to listen pay attention to it but I'm telling you today, no matter what have happened the month of January down to September, this is a new month of October, the waiting is over. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, waiting is one of the most difficult things that if not well managed, it could weaken your spirit. It could weaken your spirit. I don't know anyone who wants to celebrate waiting. I don't like waiting. Wait, wait. No one wants to celebrate waiting. Prayer requests have been piled up in January till now. And look at it, answer have not come. Your desires have not come. Now, the waiting is over. When we cross over to the month of October, I, 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 I heard clearly that speak to my people that this waiting is over. They will no longer wait anymore because that will be praying, accumulating prayer in heaven. There's going to be a release of the answer. So we need to understand that if we must get that that we need, we need to depend on God. We need to depend on God. Number two, we need to focus all our attention to God and not man. And not man. Man can disappoint. Man can frustrate, frustrate one. Man can prolong the days of a visitation. But when God factor is involved, I, I'm telling you, child of God, the waiting will be over. We know that the Bible says that in Isaiah chapter 14, verse 31, and it said, it said, But those that wait upon the Lord shall renew that strength. Thank God for that verse. Those that wait upon the Lord, waiting upon the Lord in prayers, waiting upon the Lord in the place of fasting. As a matter of fact, this Thursday, I'll be preaching how we could provoke our heavens. 
there are ways I'm going to show you show, show us the way we can engage in prayer that our heaven could be split open and our, our answer come immediately. He said, But those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall renew their strength, as, as I said in Isaiah chapter 40. But my take is that the waiting should not be too long. The waiting should not be too long. Find out for a woman who is waiting for for married woman waiting for, for her to be pregnant. One year, two years, three years. You, in eight years, you cannot be telling her that those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Because her strength is already wicked. Her strength is already wicked. So, so if the waiting is too long, it will do the opposite of the strength. It will weaken them. A man that's waiting for him to buy his first house and up to now, the promise here and the promise and then, and he's still renting and facing harassment from landlord and it's now 70 years and you're telling him that those that wait upon the Lord shall ruin their strength, his strength is already wicked. There's a, there, there, there's a level you can reach, you're waiting, your, your heart will begin to poverty. Your heart begin to trouble, you're troubling heart. Oh Lord, don't let my faith to be wicked. This waiting is over. This delay is over. This, this reproach is over. Waiting is over. Waiting is difficult. It's one, I think, the, one of the most difficult things that anyone could experience. Because you may not know the days or the time of your visitation. You may not know. You may not know. Uh, if you waiting that you are sure of the timing, you could wait. But what if you are not sure of the timing? You are troubled. What will, where will the time be? What time will it be? The disciple came to meet Jesus. He said, tell us what will happen at the end of the time. And they begin to say, in, uh, I think, at chapter, eight, at chapter 1, I think, down, begin to read from verse 7 down. He says, we that will restore the kingdom of, of Israel back to us again. I'm paraphrasing it now. And Jesus spoke to them and said, don't even bother about the time. Not the season, because if the next question is going to be, what or okay, if you don't want to tell us the time, what kind of season? Is it winter or summer or springs or autumn? Tell us the time, the season. He said, don't bother about the time. Don't bother about the time. So when you are waiting and there's no time frame for the waiting, your heart could be trouble. It could work in your soul. A woman who is pregnant, for example, thank God she's pregnant already. She knows that she needs to wait for nine months. Because anything short of nine months could be premature. But when the nine months is have click, I'm telling you, even one day, one week, she begin to sweat. When would the baby come out? But this is a woman who carried a pregnancy for one or two months with joy in her. Eight months with joy. Now nine months have clicked. When would this baby come? And a week have passed out of nine months. What is going on? Uh, maybe another two weeks. What is going on? In one month, they become a case of emergency. That's not the waiting people should pray for. Waiting for long could weaken our strength. You hear me? Nobody would want to celebrate a time of waiting. And, and, and I say, well, I'm, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Nobody wants to do that. When you wait for a long time and it's the turn of other people and other people keep getting that thing easily, getting that thing easily, it's going to be a reproach. Jesus met the man from the pool of Bethesda and said to him, he said, will that be made whole? The man has been waiting there for 38 years. He said, oh, I've been waiting here. Anytime I want to step into the, 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 the pool, another one came and well, come and push me out. And the angel passed. And Jesus said, now is the time. That man have waited for so long. When you are waiting for your turn, and everybody celebrating their children, celebrating their marriages, celebrating their jobs, celebrating their academies, and you are seeing in the queue, it was challenging. A being of travels to some nations or some places, and some of them good, good ones, some of them the stress of waiting on the airport could be, could be so bad. I remember one of the time I was flying, international flight. Now, the plane was supposed to take off by 11, which should be on airborne. 
for eleven hours. My friend that was was flying KLM to 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 to, to Germany, he has gone. We are supposed to leave at the same time, eleven o'clock. At eleven hours, twelve hours, one o'clock apart, people begin to doze up at the boarding gate. My strand begin to tell me, I need to sleep. Two o'clock I pass. When it's three o'clock in the morning, when we almost half to our destination, they say, oh, now we can begin to board. Nobody enjoy waiting. And so I'm prophesying to you, no matter how long you'll be waiting, today he expires in the mighty name of Jesus. When I boarded the plane, I was very, very sad. I couldn't eat when they saw me. Because you are tired already. When they cancel flight, cancel flight, cancel flight, and they have to say, well, you have to where to reschedule your flight, you are not happy at all. Or you are you are a student, you are writing an exam. Exam that's what to start me by nine o'clock in the morning. They, you waited, waited, waited. Now is it three o'clock? They say they are sharing paper. Most time, everything you've written, uh, you you study gonna fly out of your of your brain. Because you are tired, emotionally you are drained. Nobody loves waiting. Nobody. Nobody, nobody, you can't tell me that, well, what is good? No, no, nobody. What, the, what God, what do you want to do for me? Do it now. Do it now. The centurion met Jesus. He said, my servant is sick at home on the point of death. And Jesus was telling him, he said, well, you just wait. Let me finish speaking to these people. Then I will go. He said, no, don't bother. I don't want to wait. I know you are a man under authority as I am. And when I speak to this, go and go. This one come and come. He says, so to me to wait, you can speak the word only. My servant shall be healed at that moment. And Jesus said, I have not seen a feel like this. No, not in Israel. And he said, go, that servant is healed. And in that moment, the servant was made whole. I'm going to show us on Thursday how we can facilitate our days of waiting. How we can move the hand of God on the days of our waiting. You see, waiting have its own body. Waiting is a body. It's a body. Waiting, you are in the hospital waiting to be healed, waiting to be discharged. Wait, you see, <laughs> waiting to get that, that, that job, it could be a body. Waiting could be a body. When you check those who are waiting, their temperature will rise. Waiting. Where you're on the queue, for example, and everybody's going getting easy. I say, wait, wait, the queue keep long. Wait, wait, it keep increasing. Wait, wait. You say, when will it be my turn? Waiting and having some burden that you can battle with. People, character can really, really be revealed in a prayer in the time of waiting. That's where you're going to know people who have nasty character. They don't want to wait. You. You, you, or, or you order your food, you want it now. You, 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 you give your clue to, to tailor, you want it now. In those days when photographer, photography is still very uh, in vogue, one of the two uh, professionals said foot, uh, uh, a photographer and tailor, they can delay. They will take your picture, they say, well, that, those days you have to maybe take a picture today, maybe they may not, you may not get the next two or three days. They have to take it to a place where they can develop the film. They work off film. They develop it. Then they will bring it. They will check the one you, they, that look well, very well. They now mark it. Okay, this is what I want to print. This is what I want to print. So most time people wait for two or three, especially if you have done your wedding. You wait for a week to get the picture. People don't want to wait. Or you give your you give your clothes to, uh, you give your clothes to a tailor and, and they say, well, come, I don't worry, madam or guy, please come on Saturday, on Friday and get the clothes. And you, need, you are wearing that clothes clothing to for wedding on saturday and you got to say uh, uh, uh i'm just uh, trying to uh, do one or two things i forget to buy a button and all that you don't want to wait your character will be revealed waiting period is a time whereby people character real true character comes out being waiting period people fight among themselves people quarrel couples quarrel in a time of waiting now let me show you a man in the Bible that was actually righteous and he not that 
He is. He was a sinner. He is a sinner. And the wife is a sinner. No, they serve the Lord with all their heart. But somehow, the devil set a trap for them. They have to wait. I'm talking about Zechariah and Elizabeth. Luke chapter uh, one verse five. He said, there was in the days of Herod, the king of Judah, a certain priest named Zechariah or the cause of Abia, and his wife uh, uh, of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. They introduced them. If, if they introduced them, they said, well, the next uh, verse they were, and they were blessed with John the Baptist. Who could just rejoice? But look at what he said in verse 6. And they were both righteous before God, no fault, no fault, walking in the Commandment and, ord and, and uh, ordinances of the law, blameless, not at all. And they were no, and they had no child. This is, this, this is the bottom there. They waited to have no child because that Elizabeth was barren, and the both were now stricken in years. Waiting is bad, stricken in years. So every year they keep believing God. Every month they keep believing God that maybe this is the month. He came to pray. Hey, Elizabeth said, Well, let's just forget about it. Zechariah said, Okay, no problem. Let's forget we can do without it. Most times when you say, I don't want it anymore, you need the job because he came late. You know, I don't, I don't want this gift anymore. I don't want this gift anymore. He came late. If you don't want it, why did you order it? Most times when you order for food and the, uh, and the food comes late, you may not want to eat the food again, but you, order, you really need to eat the food. But because of the waiting period, they didn't come on time. He said, I don't want to eat anymore. Bible says that Zechariah was, was ministering in the temple as, as his occasion demands. And the angels appeared to him and said, Zechariah, your wife Elizabeth will be pregnant. She have a son. And they wanted to argue. He said, well, if you want to argue, fine. But you will be dumb for nine months. You will not be able to speak until Elizabeth deliver the baby. And that is how that miracle came. Do you also know that waiting for years, months, you've been waiting for years, waiting for months, waiting for, 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 for weeks, waiting for days, waiting for hours for that breakthrough, for that news, and yet it seems to be delayed. Especially when you are in an environment where other people are celebrating the ass. But yours seems to be delayed. I tell you, it could be frustrating. It could be frustrating. You must have to know but that God will not leave his own. My counsel for us, for you and I, that is in that place that we should keep our faith alive. We should, we should stay with God. It is not a time to uh, misshoot or speak anyhow. This waiting must be over in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know what you are waiting for. I don't know what you are believing God for, but Bible says in the book of Psalm 30, verse 5, I believe so. He said, Weeping my endure for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. I see your morning coming in the name of Jesus. Joy cometh in the morning. We are going to spend some time, especially on Thursday, don't miss Thursday, to pray and engage God to turn to surrender. This month of October, we need an early visitation. This month of October, we need an early miracle. This month of October, we need breakthrough. We need to testify. I am in next in line to testify. Sinas uh, uh, wrote a song. He said, you are next in line for a miracle. Say to yourself, I am next in line for a miracle. And say it again. Say, I am next in line for miracle. And say that I embrace my miracle. Whatever thing that looks have been delayed, you look as if it has not come up to now. Today we provoke heaven to release it in the mighty name of Jesus. Daniel was praying for one day God had heard his prayer, but the prince of Persia withstood him. His answer. He keep pressing him, pressing him. We're going to press him on Thursday. Today is like first Sunday, uh, like Thanksgiving for us. So I don't want to spend so much time in prayer and all that. But we're going to spend time in praying on, on Thursday. Oh Lord, heaven must speak. This month of October, I must get my early breakthrough. I must get my early testimony. In the name of Jesus. Waiting is over. Hallelujah. I don't know what you're waiting for. Are you waiting for you to be married? Waiting for you to get your baby? Waiting for you to get a job? 
waiting for you to be healed is the time for you to get it. Your healing, you waited for so long for this healing. And look as if daughter, a different daughter have tried her best, but no solution yet. A good daughter say that they care about God heals. Today we decree and declare that there's balm in Gilead. That healing is possible in the mighty name of Jesus. That healing, that healing is possible. God himself will move right now and, uh, and release the, your healing in the mighty name of Jesus. You don't need to wait any longer. The waiting have just expired. Wherever you may be, you need to say, Lord, show me mercy. Let this burden of waiting go. Let this burden disappear. Give me joy. See, hear me, hear me. People who are waiting for a long time, they are not really happy. You can see it in their face. They are depressed. They are depressed. They are, they are, they are born. You see, Bible says, hope before I make it happy. Their bone is weak already. They are just trying to encourage themselves. But today is the day that that waiting has just expired in the mighty name of Jesus. That waiting just expired in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever thing you desire, carry it right now. Is it your baby? Carry your baby. Is it your prosperity? Carry your prosperity. Is it your house? Carry it right now. Anything you desire that will make you rejoice indeed, receive it right now. In the name of Jesus. Be God tole na hasusa kataba. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Lee, bro, do begin to pray. You that's watch Ikapara da Hashata. There's someone you have, you keep having a migraine. There's someone you're watching me. You keep having a migraine. You keep having a migraine. Migraine is at times it becomes so strong that you can't even shake your head. You just want to lie down your head. Lie down. You have a, a migraine, a migraine, a migraine. That migraine just expire right now. In the name of Jesus. I, I feel it right now. That migraine just expire right now. In the name of Jesus. It will no longer happen again. It will not come. Because it's over. In the name of Jesus. Whatever that sickness may be in your body. You don't need to wait till Thursday. Today is the day. We're going we're gonna to ask the Lord for healing. Whatever the sickness may be in your body. If you are watching me right now. Lay your hand upon that place. I believe in miracles. I've seen miracles before. And I've seen it over and over again. I've seen your leg grow back. I've seen cancer disappear. It shall be died through prayers. I see God restore kidney. We, see, we, we pray for a lady, her brother in Harare Hospital, General, Harare General Hospital. We prayed here in South Africa. The, bro, the brother was having a kidney failure, the two kidney. And, and I said, call him. We will pray. As he called the brother, I prayed. He said, Do you want to die? He said, No, I don't want to die. I said, Lord, give me a brand new kidney. That was on Sunday. On Monday, when they went, uh, the doctor came to examine him. They saw that they have a brand new one. Whatever sickness may be in your body, so called to lay your hand upon that place and stretch your hand to your gadget you are using. Watch me right now. Jesus. Jesus. Healing Jesus. There are some miracles. There are some miracles. I prophesy healing right now to those who are viewing me right now in the name of Jesus. Either you are viewing me live, you're going to view me later. Whatever sickness that is in your body, receive total healing right now in the name of Jesus. I don't care to know how long, how many years that sickness may be. I speak to you right now. Rise up and begin to walk in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If you cannot see, begin to see me clearly right now in the name of Jesus. Could it be a sickness, a generational sickness? I pull you up from that generational circle. Right now, be healed, be healed, be healed in the name of Jesus. Taboro to Sickness is not a portion in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Somebody having neck pain, neck pain. Something just happened right now. Move your head. You can see that you can move your head right now. Your head right now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. The Lord have answered the prayer. I believe my prayer is simple, all right? It's three, three, uh, straight, short, and simple. Straight to the point. I, I, I don't, I, it's so simple. So it's not difficult for God to heal. It is man that tried to complicate it. Miracle just happened right now. 
in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I can't wait for your miracle testimony. Please send us your uh, our testimony on our site, on our website. Drop uh, on this comment section. You can also drop. Let us know that God has uh, given you your miracles. We will celebrate you. We will also share it among the people. And the Lord bless me. The Lord keep you in the name of Jesus. Now, we want to take our offering. This is your first Sunday offering this month of October. I want you to package your offering. Wherever you are, you, you, you're you going to give opportunity to give. Our bank edit is going to display on the screen right now. Use all uh, those bank edits wherever you are. If you're in Nigeria, if you're in West, uh, part of West Africa, and also in South Africa, there are bank edits you can use. But if you don't live in those regions, you can as well go to our website and go to a portal called a Donate. Follow it and drop your offering. As we receive your offering, your heaven is open in the name of Jesus. Let me bless your offering. Father, I bless your people offering in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, I rebuke the devil of that sick in the name of Jesus. Your hand will handle wet in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my brother, my father, for the blessing of O God of heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Shalom. Hallelujah. Now, as we round up, please remember we have our books or publication in Amazon on our Google. Just in other social media our platform, Roku, please take advantage of those platforms. Order your copies and begin to read. When you read, you are stretching it. When you read, you, you become an overcomer. Please get all those books and begin to read. Buy for yourself, buy for your friends, even buy for your enemies. In the name of Jesus. So that will stop, they stop troubling you. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you. In the name of Jesus. Please, as we round up today, know that no matter what matters, know that the same God is still at work in your life. I see you on Thursday and I say to you, Church, God bless you.